So would you like to hear the prayer for the tourist? Yeah. I'm going to read it anyway. Yeah. <laughs> now listen, this feels like the morning after the night before. Everyone's very quiet this morning. What's going on? You had to, you're not telling me everything about last night, are you? I'm jealous now. You had great crack. I'm glad to hear it anyway. Okay, it goes like this. Heavenly Father, look down on us, your humble, obedient tourist servants who are doomed to travel this earth, mailing postcards, taking photographs, buying souvenirs, and walking around in drip-dry underwear. <coughs> we beseech you, O oh Lord, to see that our coach is not hijacked. It very nearly was just now, wasn't it? Our luggage is not lost, and our overweight baggage goes unnoticed. <laughs> Protect us from surly and unscrupulous coach drivers, avaricious porters, and unlicensed English-speaking guides. Give us this day divine guidance in the selection of our hotels that we may find our reservations on it, our rooms made up, and hot water running from the faucets, if it's at all possible. We'll see about that tonight now. Uh, we pray that the telephones work and that the operators speak our tongue and that there is no mail waiting from our children which would force us to cancel the rest of our trip. And lead us, dear Lord, to good, inexpensive restaurants where the food is superb, the waiters are friendly, and the wine is included in the price of the meal. Very rare. And give us the wisdom to tip correctly in currencies we do not understand. Forgive us for under-tipping out of ignorance and over-tipping out of fear. Make the natives love us for what we are and not for what we can contribute to their worldly goods. And grant us the strength to visit the museums, the cathedrals, the palaces and the castles, listed as musts in the guidebooks. And if perchance we skip an historic monument to take a nap after lunch, have mercy on us, for the flesh is weak. Now this part especially for the husbands to say, now lads, bear this in mind to recite morning and evening. Dear God, keep our wives from shopping sprees <laughs> and protect them from bargains they don't need or can't afford lead them not into temptation for they know not what they do now don't worry ladies there's a special part here for you for the wives almighty father keep our husbands from looking at foreign women and comparing them to us save them from making fools of themselves in cafes and nightclubs above all please do not forgive them their trespasses, for they know exactly what they do. <laughs> and then all together at the end of the prayer, and when our tour is over and we return to our loved ones, grant us the favor of finding someone who will look at our home movies and listen to our stories, so that our lives as tourists will not have been in vain. This we ask you in the name of Globus and all travelers. Amen.